Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be testing out and reviewing the Dyson Airwrap. So I recently, uh, here it is here. So I recently received this, um, I think it was around February. Uh, so I have had quite a few months now to, you know, play with it and see whether I like it, of course. I was very lucky to receive this from my fiance for my Christmas present this year uh, or last year. So yeah, I was really, really excited to receive this because I do actually own the Dyson hairdryer of which I really, really do enjoy. And the, this technology, everything about this product just really, really intrigued me. Uh, so yeah, I was very, very thankful and excited to, of course, receive this. So I just thought I would share with you guys, you know, what it looks like, my thoughts and how, of course, I use it. So this is pretty much how it comes in this big sort of faux leather case. I'll just open it up for you guys. So this is essentially what it looks like. Of course, the actual machine would normally sit there where there's plenty of lint and dust now. But yeah, this is basically how I like to keep it all stored. So it's all, you know, in the one place. So yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys, you know, um, how I like to use it. There are, of course, so many different attachments. I have used them all, but by far my favorite are these two right here. So these are the smaller curling ones. So these ones give you that really, really tiny, tight, precise curl. So the first thing that you wanna do is make Make sure that you have your hair sort of sectioned off the way that you normally would. So what I like to do is I do one side of my hair at a time. The reason for this is literally just to save time because what I find is that if you do section your hair off normally, like as say you normally would if you were using like a straightener or something like that, you have to keep going back and changing these um, around because they do of course go in different directions. So that can be quite time consuming. So I do find that if you just do one you know, side of your hair at a time, using of course the the one attachment it just it works a, the whole process is a lot smoother and um, yeah you got get through it a lot quicker so basically I just go ahead and section my hair off like this nothing really scientific or anything particularly special about it <laughs> So the other thing with this guys as well is that you want to you want your hair to still be fairly damp. Um, I do find that you do get the best results when your hair is quite damp. So this is what the actual product looks like, all bare without any attachments on there. So this is your on and off button. You have your cool heating and cooling button over here, and over here you have the fan the fan force, like how far how. Uh, intense you want the fan to go basically so it's very very simple all you need to do is pop the attachment on like so just click it down and it's not going anywhere it's attached to take it off it's all as you can see locked in so to take it off you just have to push this button down and it comes straight off so really really quite straightforward the other thing that I find really good about this is that the attachment does have arrows on here so it does show you in what direction it's going to be uh, curling so yeah that's always very handy as well so the first thing that we want to do is just section off our hair like so I only want a, you only want a small amount to, to start with. So just like that, it's not too thick. And you also want to make sure that your hair is free of any, you know, um, knots or anything like that. Okay guys, so now you just literally turn it on and it wraps your hair for you. So, I hope you can hear me. Um, I like to hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then I'm just going to push up on this button and what that's going to do is it's going to start to cool the curl. It's about 10 seconds. And then you turn it off and then you slowly release the curl. And as you can see, it is, you know, in perfect formation. If you wanted to go ahead and clip it up and pin it, you could, but I just leave it like this. It is completely dry and it's nowhere near as hot as what it would be if, you know, you'd just done this with the GHD. So one of the things that I really do like about this product is the fact that it doesn't apply, you know, that intense 200 degree heat directly to your hair through metal plates. I do really like the fact that this is literally all just air. 
I have seen a significant improvement in the quality of my hair since I have mainly switched to using this product as opposed to you know doing the GHD curl uh, curls definitely the health of my hair overall is much much better using this particular product so yeah now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep curling it so you guys can see how it works So as you guys can also see, like my hair is quite long. So I do find that it's, when you turn it on, I just kind of gather it so it evenly, you know, goes around the cylinder. And I just find that by doing it that way, I get the best results. Okay, and we are literally onto the last little strand at the front here, and for this side anyway. Yeah. and that's it so guys as you can see like it curls really really well and I just want to let you guys know I'm just going to sort of turn a bit so you can see what I'm talking about there it all is. Now the other thing I want to tell you guys is I don't have any other products in my hair at the moment nothing so I've literally had a shower deep conditioned it you know as you do all the rest of it gotten out towel dried it and then I've started to curl it I haven't put any other products in my hair whatsoever so this is literally the the curls are holding all on their own and yeah it's just it's such a fabulous fabulous system I really do uh, love it specifically for these kinds of curls I just think that they are beautiful I know I kind of somewhat resemble Pippi Longstockings right now on this side of my head anyway um, but don't worry because you know they will these curls definitely will drop and they will sort of settle down uh, you know throughout the day as I keep going so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly um, go ahead and finish this side of my head off of camera but before I do that I will just again show you guys it's so simple to change you literally just pull this down pop it off, pop the other one on, and you're good to go. It's literally that easy. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do this side of my hair right now, and then I will be back with you guys in just a minute. And we're back, and as you can see, I have completely transformed my hair. It's all now officially curled. So what I'm gonna do now, um, and this is what I usually like to do, is I just kind of take my fingers and I just run it through the curls just to sort of separate them a little bit and sort of make them look a little bit less, you know, perfect, perfectly curled, I mean. Um, and I'm just going to kind of quickly do the same on this side. Just sort of tossle through them. Just like that. And yeah, look, as I said, guys, this, this will, like, it is just, you know, obviously freshly curled, so it will start to settle down very, very soon. Now, if you're somebody who does really want to hold on to that really intense curl, then definitely I would recommend to go ahead and, you know, spray it with some hairspray or some setting spray, something like that just to hold it and if you're somebody that really wants to um, you know hold on to some volume as well definitely some volume spray you know will definitely help you with that as well so usually like what I like to do is I use a little bit of dry shampoo and I find that really does the trick but to be honest how it's sitting right now and how it's looking right now I'm quite happy with that and um, I'll just you know go ahead and leave it how it is for the rest of the day now pretty much okay so let's get down to uh you know the cost of this and the other pieces that are in this set and you know ultimately whether or not it's worth your money so the first thing that i want to show you guys is this one here so this is actually a little mini version of their hair dryer so i'll just show you it's very the one thing i love about this product is just how easy it is to you know switch between the different the to switch between the different heads so this you would use if you've just come out of the shower you haven't really had time to towel dry your hair and it's still pretty wet you would just quickly use this to you know that way you would just quickly use this to quickly you know tussle through your hair or have these moments 
<laughs> no, but yeah, you would literally just use this to quickly, oh wow, look what I've done here. You would use this to quickly like, you know, do a once over, to, you know, get the majority of the moisture out of your hair so you could then go ahead and move on to the next step, which would be say curling it as an example if that's what you wanted to do. Now the other option is that once you've sort of gotten the majority of the moisture out of your hair and it is sort of that towel dry like finish, the other thing that you could go ahead and do is uh, you could go ahead and use, say, uh, this attachment right here. So this one here is really quite cool. So I'm just going to show you guys that... Oh, focus. Focus. There we go. So as you can see, it kind of, it moves. So when you brush your hair, uh, it actually moves with your hair. So I really, really like that because, again, I do find that it, it is less damaging to your hair. And what I really like uh, to use, how I like to use this is basically where my hair is that sort of towel dry, almost dry, but not quite dry. But you know what I'm saying? When it's at that point where it's almost dry, but not quite dry and it's looking really frizzy, uh, I like to go ahead and I start from underneath and I actually bring it through. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm just going to brush all my curls through, uh, out. But basically what I like to do is, you know, take it through and just run my hair through um, these bristles and what I find that it does is it smooths and straightens your hair without actually having to apply you know intense heat like a, what a normal straightener would do so really really do love this attachment for that I find that it does the job really really well now the other one that we have in here which as you can see it has been quite well loved it still has plenty of hair on it this is really really great at the end of any blow dry I like you know I'll run it through particularly the front part of my hair just to get that little bit of a curl at the end or to give it a little bit more volume at the roots really do love it for this obviously as you guys know um, you know this kind of product as a whole you could go out and buy these I think you know Remington I think it is sell them for like 20 bucks or something like that at Kmart this is just a far more expensive version of that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the price of this, which we will get into in just a minute, uh, yeah, you really do need more than, you know, say, your two attachments. So finally, the other two, the last two attachments I want to talk about are these two. So very, very similar to the ones that we were just using. But as you can see, uh, this one here is far more of a thicker barrel. So this one here is going to give you uh, more of, you know, that wave finish as opposed to this one which can give you a really really tight curl depending on how you want to style your hair at the end so this is a really great uh, for you know those old Hollywood sort of curls if that's what you're into I personally do like to use this underneath my hair and then I'll switch and use this on top depending on the day and what I'm doing but yeah so this the, the larger barrel is going to give you those really big bold you know Hollywood curl sort of vibes whereas this one is going to give you far more of a tight precise curl very very pin-up style so if you are somebody who likes those really precise intense curls as you saw when I was originally doing my hair before you could easily go ahead and pin that and then you know take them all out of the later date and you would really would have you know end up with those ringlets so it all depends on you know your own personal preference and what you like now, finally, having said all of that, when it comes to the price of this baby, this is pro this is the most expensive uh, device, hair device, device that I own. And it was actually, I think it was almost, in fact, it was more expensive than my camera. So I think that says a lot in itself. Uh, so this one here, when it originally hit the shelves in Australia, I believe it cost $6.99. I'm gonna to have to double check that actually. This was originally in Australia listed for $6.99. That was around Christmas time, December, when it first, uh, you know, hit the shelves. Or actually, maybe it was a little bit earlier than that. Anyway, the point is that when these did come to Australia, they literally sold like hotcakes. I actually had to wait till February to get my hands on this device because that's how well they were selling. Then all of a sudden, Dyson did a little bit of a sneaky thing and they actually went ahead and put the price up. So it was after February last year, oh, sorry, this year rather, that, you know, end of, end of January, beginning of February this year, that Dyson actually repriced their uh, pricing in Australia from $6.99 
to $7.99, went up by $100. Now, they claim that, I got an email about this, so it cla they claimed that the price increase was due to uh, you know, basically price matching it to the American market, which by the way, it retails at $549. And this is of course, I'm talking for the whole kit that you get. And so that was essentially their justification as to why they were bumping the price up by $100. Now, what I personally believe, I personally believe that because it sold so well and it was still out of stock come February over here in Australia, that is the reason why Dyson went ahead and put the price up by $100. They could see an opportunity, you know, a money making opportunity and they went ahead and took it. Now, I do believe that this was met with quite a lot of backlash because I actually received an email from Dyson that basically read the reads as follows. Since you registered to be notified when Dyson Airwrap Styler was back in stock, the RRP the RRP in Australia has increased to $7.99 in order to align more closely with global pricing, as I was saying. As you registered with us between the 20th and 20th of December and 13th of January, we are offering you the exclusive code below to purchase at the original price of $6.99. So it was pretty good that Dyson went ahead and honoured uh, the pricing as I had registered before the pricing went up to be notified when it was back in stock. However, I do believe that they did that based on the fact that they were met with so much backlash at the fact that they had actually increased the price for the next uh, shipment or, you know, stock shipment. So yeah, that was quite interesting to receive that email, I must admit. Uh, but yeah, it also gives you a really good indication where prices are at when it comes to the Australian, uh, you know, financial market and the American, uh, you know, there is a significant difference in cost, that is for sure. And it doesn't just come down to, you know, this product that literally is with all products, especially uh, in, re in relation to cosmetics, you know, all that kind of thing. So that's interesting to me. But it, of course, as I was saying before, the price is inclusive of everything I've shown you, including the box as it would want to be. Uh, do I think overall it is worth the money? Look, I think that it is a lot of money. There is no denying that's, you know, uh, splashing seven, uh, sorry, $800 out on a hair device is a lot of money to spend. It really truly is. So for that reason, I can't say I would go ahead and, you know, recommend it to everybody. It really does come down to your own personal financial situation, what you can and can't afford, uh, you know, and whether or not this is something that you truly do desire in your life. For me personally, my hair, you know, kind of always has been my everything. Um, I really, really love styling my hair, getting it done. You know, I'm very particular with the products that I do use in my hair. I'm extremely particular with where I go to get my hair done. Hopefully my hairdressers are watching. Hello, Michael. Hi, Tammy. Um, so they are actually located in Melbourne for you guys who might be wondering. So like I have lived on, to give you some perspective, I live on the Gold Coast. I've lived here for six months. I have not been to a hair salon up on the Gold Coast because I won't do it. Um, I'm one of those people that when I find somebody, especially when it comes to things like my hair, when I find, uh, you know, a business and when I find individuals, you know, that understand me and what I want and all of those things, you know, it is such a difficult thing to find in the first place. So when you do find that, you definitely don't want to go ahead and jeopardize that by, you know, just going somewhere else. So, um, I have certainly been there, done that before. So I literally am quite loyal to my hairdressers, um, and getting my hair done where I get it done. Um, because I am very particular about what, happens to the hair on my head. That might sound kind of crazy to some of you, which I totally understand. I get it, but that's just how I am. That's how I like to, you know, that's my own personal choice and it's how I like to get my hair done and what I like to do with my hair, so, so to speak. Many of you out there would probably have the same sort of feelings in regards to, you know, the products that you apply to your skin when it comes to skincare and things like that. So, that's just, you know, a little bit of background for me and how I feel about my hair and the products that I do choose to, you know, use on it. So that is why I can personally justify this purchase. 
uh, even though it was a gift, as I mentioned before. But look, even if this, you know, even if I didn't get this for Christmas, I genuinely would still would have gone out and purchased it for myself anyway, because I really was so intrigued by the technology. I thought it was quite unique. I thought it was really well thought out and I love the way that it works. I have like the product ultimately at the end of the day, the product works really, really well. So long as you follow the directions, can't stress that enough. Do not use it on dry hair. You just won't get the results that you're after. Definitely make sure you use it on wet to damp hair. But yeah, overall, I have to say every single time I use this, I'm happy with the results. It literally took me a total of 40 minutes to do both sides of my hair, you know, and I was done, which is usually about the same amount of time it takes me if I was using a GHD, because of course, as you would know, you need to dry your hair first then go ahead and use the GHD. So this kind of cuts the middleman out a little bit in that respect as well in, in regards to, you know, saving time. And yeah, look, once you sort of get the hang of it, it will take you a couple of goes, but once you get the general idea and feel of the product, how to use it, it, it's so quick to use, honestly. Um, it, it's very, I find to be a very, very user friendly product. So yeah, look, overall, this is definitely a non-sponsored review, but I have to say that there are so many sponsored reviews out there on YouTube at the moment when it comes to this product. I thought it was worthwhile me uploading a non-sponsored review and literally just giving you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on this product. I will 100% hands down tell you, as I said before, can't stress this enough. I do think that $800 on a hair device is a lot of money to invest. Having said that, I also do believe it is exactly that. It is an investment. This is, I can tell you right now, I am not going to be, you know, going and buying a new curling device in the next five years. I just don't see it happening. And based on the actual overall design of this product, I'm very, very hopeful that Dyson will continue to, you know, make further products that you will be able to go ahead and just, you know, pop on and attach and you'll be able to buy extra attachments and things like that. Now, if you are interested, I know on the uh, US Dyson website, there are additional attachments that you can go ahead and buy. They do not have that available over here in Australia as of yet. Hopefully that will happen. Uh, but yes, yeah, so, you know, that's another thing to keep in mind that hopefully they will continue to develop, you know, towards this product and, you know, bring out new attachments and things like that in the future. I can only imagine that that is what they would, you know, that that, that is what they would do. And uh, lastly, if you are interested, no, you cannot just buy this product and say these two attachments if you wanted to on its own. It doesn't work like that. You can't buy it separately at this stage. You do have to buy the whole kit. So that is why it is so expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video uh, today, guys. So thank you so much for joining me as always. I really do appreciate your love and support on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to some of you guys out there who may have been interested in this product. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.